Hey guys, how's it going? It is my different username here, and today I have the gunslinger right- Oh, he's out of focus. Yeah, I'm actually filming with uh, my DSLR, not my digital camera, and I don't really have a lens that can uh, focus real well. It's just manual, as you can tell. But uh, besides that, let me get back into focus. We are going to be making this guy, or at least uh, you guys are going to be making the gunslinger and uh, I actually made an LDD file for it and uh, gotta say it took a while to make that and I didn't really do a good job of that but in the video it's gonna be showing you exactly how to make it and everything and even a new thumb design that I actually came up with I only came up with it in LDD though because I don't have the pieces right now to actually make one myself because I'm currently working on another project and it took up a lot of uh, pieces of mine but anyway so, let's move right into LDD. Alright guys, so, here is the, you know, 3D model of the hand itself, and, uh, gotta say, it was actually kinda difficult to make this, you know. LDD has some, like, cool features, like, you know, pivoting the fingers and everything, and then there's stuff like this, which is absolutely wretched. But anyway, besides that, so, this is the entire model itself. It has all the pieces in here listed and everything. All you guys need to do is just follow along and everything should be fine.
So guys, you should have a finished model now. I'm actually going to show you how to install this battery into the slot here. It's funny, you can't actually put it inside because for whatever reason LEGO Digital Designer doesn't feel like it can fit, but in reality it actually does. And uh, you're going to see what these pieces are going to be used for and everything else, but uh, yeah, good luck building. Alright guys, so if you have done everything perfectly on the whole tutorial part, this is what you should get out of it. Now I'm going to note that there are a few additions, like uh, this piece right here. With this piece right here, I actually did get this wire piece and I ran those, uh, those inserts into the holes that you can see. Actually, if you remember the tutorial, it did tell you to place these here. And essentially ran it through under this metering gauge here and then around the two middle fingers, actually in between the two middle fingers. So this is just an option. Uh, I couldn't actually find the piece on LEGO Digital Designer, so that's why you didn't see it on there. But uh, it is on my model and it is kind of essentially part of the model because I wanted to recreate it perfectly to what I made and that's what I did there. As far as everything else, everything should be fine and now I'm going to tell you how to put it all together. So let's do that. Alright, so right here we have the hand and uh, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you how to put it on all the fingers and everything. So, alright, I want to clarify this right now. We made all the fingers correctly, the three in the middle should look completely identical talking the ones with the notches in the middle and everything, or not the notches, but the exposed studs. That's exactly what I mean. And uh, also, I kind of want to note the difference between the pinky, uh, I almost did that, uh, the pinky finger and the, uh, you know, the thumb. I want to note the differences. So, the thumb piece right here uh, actually has a 2x2 two two area that goes into a 2x4 and then into a 2x2 two two right here. Now when it comes to the pinky, it has a 2x6 that goes into a 2x3 and then into a 2x2. Two two. The reason I'm noting these is because, I mean, I don't know, some people will get them confused. At least that's what I thought. So I just wanted to clarify and make that real quick that the differences between the two. So now what we're going to do is, uh, it's pretty simple. You just take the notches that you see here, even here, and you just apply the fingers to them. Honestly, just like stick them run on. Make sure that the three that look similar are in the middle of the hand. Basically, if you, you know, just do this real quick. Alright, when you put them all together, this is what you should get out of it. Now, if you <laughs> probably notice it doesn't look really much like a hand, you can actually start moving all the pieces now if you want, including these. Now, remember, the two fingers on the outsides are the only ones that can spin, not these two. These two stay stationary, which is kind of disappointing, but I couldn't figure out any other way of making them all spin, and also, also looking good at the same time. That was kind of my, uh, you know, my drawback. Alright, now we're on to this part. This is going to be the most difficult part. This is probably going to suck for me because I currently have my fan off. It's summertime and I live in Vegas. Uh, spare, spare me here. Okay, so we have this motor piece right here as well as uh, the actual gear itself. I mean, this is technically the power. This is the, uh, the motor, but uh, you kind of get what I'm getting at. So, take this piece here as you can see how, uh, how I have all the wires and stuff together now uh, what I want you to do this is how we're gonna put it together so I'm just gonna take this top part off just to just take it off it doesn't really matter or not. what I want you guys to do is when you have all these pieces you know, on the side lift it up make sure that you turn it around like so so the uh, part where the wire is supposed to attach is on the right side and the switch is on the left side. So now we just place it in here like so. Like I said, it's, it fits, but LEGO Digital Designer doesn't realize that. From there, what we would do is just take the motor now and uh, I'm just going to run it right on top of it. Now uh, this is kind of... This is going to be a 
little difficult, like I said. Uh, so you, I want you guys to run the wire outward like this, and then feed it to this area right here. And uh, th this is this is gonna be the tricky part. I'll, yeah, I gotta move that piece up more. So from this point, when you have like the wire flat against the wall, click these pieces down and it'll like trap the wire inside. That's actually exactly what I did there. So from that point you want to feed it around again and then kind of place it like this. I think that's good. Okay, essentially you should get something like that. Um, if the wire is difficult to move for your model, then uh, just make sure just to wear it down a bit. Don't actually do anything that can destroy the wire though, otherwise you're not going to have a working hand at all. But uh, just basically just follow what I did and the pattern I did and you should be fine. In fact, let's, uh, we can actually put it almost all together. Let's take this piece right here and equip it right here. It's going to... Alright, sweet. It's a perfect fit. It's pretty nice. Alright, from here, this... This is the part where this <laughs> this matters. This is when uh, you know everything fits together. So take this plate right here and uh, just stick it right on top. Already I can tell that I'm gonna have problems with this wire. So I'm wondering if I can do something in order for it to fit properly. Terribly sorry guys, but I actually had to do that part off camera because it was taking me ages and my room is getting really hot. I can really, really feel the heat affecting me, but uh, this part, as you can tell, if you can actually check the design, like how the way the wire is being folded and how it folds up into there, there's a reason why there's actually a 1x2 here and not here, because essentially that wire is used to feed through. So from that point, we can actually uh, lock the power into it now. So, man, I'm losing my words here. It's really hot. Bear with me. Uh, notice that the the motor can kind of slide around a bit. In fact, now it's out of place. I don't want that. A uh, tip that you can do is take these rods here and just push them. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, alright, push. Push that right, right into it. It should line up with this part right here. And then I'm going to take the other one and do the same push hard enough to know that it will like hold it into place. Now the motor is not going to move at all because we have these these rods here holding it together and uh, that is essentially the gear and well the motor and the power supply. Oh man I am losing my words and it's really hot. Also guys in case you're wondering and like thinking this thumb is a little you know messed up you can't like pivot it or do anything well I I can't believe I never thought of this when I actually made the the hand to begin with but uh, if you actually look over here I made a new design for the thumb if I take this hinge tool here you can actually see you can actually pivot the thumb it only gives you 90 degrees kinda like your actual thumb even though your actual thumb can probably do a lot more than just pivot left and right but uh, in Lego, this is not that bad, and really surprised I did not make this on the finished model. But uh, I'm going to install it here on the model so you can see exactly what it looks like. Alright, so right here we have the new attached thumb. And if you check this out, it will actually be able to pivot. Will it? There we go. So look at that, it's a pivoting thumb if you actually see it from up top. Looks a lot more realistic, actually, you know. It's, uh... <laughs> It definitely definitely brings a nicer look to it and uh, also I mean it, it's it's functional I wonder if you can actually make a fist doing this I don't know uh, I'll try some other time but uh yeah that is this is a design that you can also do as well I'm gonna in fact put the instructions right here for you guys to use uh, it's not optional or <laughs> fail it is optional but you know I definitely recommend this one because it makes your hand look a lot more realistic for modeling, which essentially is what you're going to be do since this uh, doesn't really work at all except for the spinning function. But uh, yeah, 
I'll just go over into the instructions right now. Alright, this is the last part and it's going to be the most difficult part of this tutorial. Are you guys ready? I don't think you are. Are you guys even ready? I, I don't even know. Here, I'm going to, hold on. Are you guys ready? Okay, here we go. The last part of the tutorial. Oh, okay, that was difficult. Oh, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it out alive, but uh, this is... The gunslinger. It's finally done and everything. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I always have problems making tutorials, even though I've made them a lot easier lately. I still have problems like something like when my AC just does not work at all, which is super cool, and uh, I just have to film something. So, uh, besides that, I'm gonna actually start working on another project because I need the pieces. And uh, basically, I hope you guys found this tutorial useful definitely tell me in the comments below and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed and as always thanks for watching